So today I'm going to show you how to root a Pan Digital Supernova 7 inch tablet and get it so you can have Google Play Store installed, which I have here. As you can see, this is the latest version. Um, with this update, you put an updated version of the market on and then it automatically updates to Google Play when you open it. So, and as you can see right here, this is the build version for the Google Play Store 3.7.15. So this is a website that I found very helpful, ATZ Forums, uh, and the links will be in the description of the video. Follow the video, follow this, and you should have no problem at all. Uh, there's some files you need to download first. Right here are the files needed to do this. You can see that. There's a link for Ginger Break, which easily roots your app or roots your Panda Strongs. <clears throat> go into the eStrongs file explorer, and then you're going to want to go to the download again. And on the Google Apps zip file here, long press on it and click Extract to, and just leave everything default. Hit OK. And uh, it won't ask you to do this overwrite thing. Okay, it's successfully extracted, so you can get Once up. you run Gingerbreak, it'll reboot, and uh, you should have Super User in there. So I'm just going to show you how to do it with Gingerbreak. I already have all the files put on the SD card in the downloads folder, so use eStrong's File Explorer on your pan digital and go to downloads and you're gonna see ginger break right here and you're gonna wanna <clears throat> it says it's gonna replace it but it'll, it's only doing that because I already have it installed so we got install ginger break is installing application installed open to allow me um, just hit OK for that now I can unroot the device here. Attempts to unroot, or you can once it opens, you want to hit root device. So root device. And that's gonna take a few seconds. Okay, it rebooted, so successfully uh rooted this pan digital okay so uh, it is rebooted now and if you get a few force closes don't worry about it right now because um, we need to still finish doing some things <clears throat> terminal is installed and open up terminal emulator and the command we're going to type is sh space forward slash <clears throat> sd card forward slash capital D O W N L A O D S uh, download not downloads slash capital S E T E P step two dot S H and hit enter and it should ask for super user permissions but mine's already rooted so it already granted it and it's rebooting Once it reboots, you're going to want to open up the market and enter your Google information. Um, when we do the update to the Android Market 3.4.4, it's not going to allow you to do this, so you need to do it now. And when you're done with that, then you can do the next step. Okay, for the next step, we're going to open up Terminal again. And we find that here, Terminal Emulator. Let's type in SH space forward slash SD card forward slash download with a capital D and then forward slash step with a capital T four dot SH hit enter and it may ask for super user pressions again but it shouldn't it should just go through and then it will reboot on its own and wait for it to reboot. It takes okay, so it's booted back up, and the first thing that came was sorry, this application Google Partner Process, com.google.android, blah blah blah. 
let it close out or close it don't worry about that and then go back into the app drawer and open up the market and if it's 3.4.4 installed it should uh, open up here <clears throat> and mine just updated to Google Play so here we go it's all done and if you, you can even look into your iApps that you have <clears throat> I have this associated with my uh, Google account on my phone so it shows me some of the apps that are on there too uh, installed all it shows all the apps that are like on my phone or that I have downloaded all kinds of apps it's great so any questions just uh, leave a comment below I'd like to thank Vinny C from over at ATZ forums for writing up this tutorial that worked so flawlessly I have a good one